And he threw you downstairs? Yes. My whole body used to be black and blue. After you divorced him, he paid you alimony until he married again. And now, for the last 17 months, he hasn't paid you a cent. Built more. And I had to sell my pearls. And these are my last pair of stockings I have left. What do you think of that? Very good. Huh? <clears throat> and what have you to say for yourself, Mr. Charles Adams? Why, well, Your Honor, I, I, I... Why have you permitted this little woman to starve? Because I... I, I haven't any money. You have testified you have a home. Yes. Uh, mortgage to the roof. <laughs> to the chimneys. <laughs> I appeal to the court. What is my client to do? No family. No means of support. Not even a roof over her head. Unless you can show cause why you have not paid this alimony. But, Your Honor, isn't not having any money sufficient cause? No! No, I, I should have known that. You get the order, and I'll get the other money. Your Honor, my client wishes a court order committing this man to Ludlow Street Jail. The court would like to suggest that more might be gained by giving Mr. Adams a little more time. But, Your Honor, my client feels that with this threat hanging over him, the defendant will find some means of paying. But, Your Honor, if you send me to jail, I won't ever be able to pay. I'm sorry, Mr. Adams. I have no choice in the matter. Thank you, Judge. Now, just what is your scheme? To make such a nuisance of myself, he will hold up a pen to get rid of me. Oh, dear. Oh, what's the matter? What happened in court? Oh, the very worst. The worst? Why, what do you mean, Charles? I... I've been committed to jail. Charles! Oh! There, there, now, don't take on so, dear. I'm... I'm not in jail yet. They... they thought that the threat would make me get the money. But Charles, didn't you tell them we tried to get it every way under the sun? The door, darling. The door. Oh, hello, Mrs. Adams. The second. I preceded you, you know. Yes, I know. Which room shall I have? Tell the trifle where to put my things. I shall certainly not. You can tell him to take you right back where you came from. Driver, take those things out of here. Okay, lady. Driver, put my things down. Okay, lady. Driver, will you do as I tell you? This is my home. It was your home. Pardon me. When you ladies have agreed on your code, let me know, won't you? What is the meaning of this, Paulette? I'm moving in, Charlie.
But, but, but that, that's not what the judge ordered. No. He committed you to jail. Would you rather go there? Oh, let me see here. It's, it's indecent. It's positively immoral. <laughs> Does it make you feel like a sultan, Charlie? But then you always were rather rough for now. Stop it! <clears throat> Charles Adams, do something. Say something. Don't stand there. I will. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you see, uh, Dorothy, uh, darling, it, it came out in the evidence that she didn't have any place to live. Well, I have. I won't stay in this house with her one minute. No, no, darling. No. Marvelous. Poor Charlie and I have fun. You certainly won't. You can't stay here. I'll call the police. That saved me the trouble. You forget that's all I have to do to get him to jail. Would you like to see the court order? But, Paulette, you promised that you wouldn't use it right away. I won't, if you pay me off. Oh, well, how about paying me off? Driver, take those bags and put them in the cab. But, Dorothy, then I'll have to go to jail. Will you pay the driver, dear? 10.35, sir. What? Charles. Will you show our guest to the blue room? Oh, that'd be charming. I always use the blue room when Charles snored. Snore? I never snore. <laughs> It's been a very trying day. Oh, have you one of your bad headaches, dear? Would you like me to stroke your brow? No, 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 no. I know perfectly well how to cure his headaches. They sometimes come from his stomach, you know. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to get me to massage your stomach, dear? <gasps> stop, 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 stop. Oh, your cooking probably started it all. Yeah. My cooking? What do you think I had the French chef for? Oh, I won't stand it. I won't, I won't, I no, won't. No, no, please, darling. Do you want me to go to jail? I think I'll retire. Breakfast at 10, cookie. Please, please, darling, darling. Now, c control yourself, darling. Please, shh, shh, please. 99, Charlie, dear. Nighty night, Charlie, dear. Oh, Dorothy. I'm Dorothy, darling. I have it, Charles. What? My jewelry's worth quite a bit. Go offer a tour to get out. Certainly not. Those things are yours. I don't care, Charles. Anything to get her out. But I won't take them. Oh, so you want her to stay? Oh, how can you say that, Dorothy? All right, then, get her out. All right. Who is it? It's me. Uh, I. Charles. Oh, go away, you naughty boy. What do you want? I want to make you a proposition. How dare you rent me in bed? But my wife knows about it. Confess now, darling. Wasn't this just an excuse to get into my room? You have no right to speak like that, Paulette. Uh, but nevertheless, there is an old wise saying. Beware the Greek bearing gift. But this is not a gift, and I'm not a Greek, and this is a payment on account. On account of what? On account of... We don't want you to stay here any longer. 
I, oh, I, I dropped the ring. I dropped it. Where's that ring? Where'd it go? Under the bed. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it has given me a terrible headache. Get me some spirits of ammonia. 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 Oh, what's the matter? Well, she, uh, she bumped her head and it uh, gave her a headache. Well, it's nothing to the headache she's given me. Oh, Dorothy. I'm Do you feel better now? No, don't do that! No, please! Don't! Polly, don't! Uh, Polly, don't! Charles! She, she, she fainted, Dorothy. Really, 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 she did. No, I'll, I'll, I'll put it here. You, you see what you can do for her, dear. I'll, I'll get her some water. I'll get her some water. Poison. What, what have I done? What about uh, uh, Dorothy? 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 She didn't. She didn't faint. She's dead. Good. What? Oh. Well, yes, but I. I killed her. I gave her this poison by mistake. Ah. It's a shame you gave it to her, but it wasn't a mistake. Better feed her heart. Let me do it. All right, all right. Well, I, I, I can't feel a thing, Helen. Oh, what'll we do? Well, let's, let's try a, a mirror. What's that for? I don't know, but they, they always do it. I think it grows foggy or, or something. And She feels awfully foggy. I mean, cold, Charles. Well, let's let's try it. It's foggy. Oh. How could they have found out so soon? The police! Be brave, Charles. I'll go. No, no, dearest. This is my funeral. No, I, I didn't mean that. I... I must go. And if I don't come back, darling... I'll always be waiting. So, this is the end. The gallows. No, no, Charles. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. It is a far, far better thing I am doing than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest I go to than I have ever known. You owe me 65 cents for last month's paper, Mr. Adams. Oh. Oh, oh all right. Here's an extra. You want to read all about the big murder? No, no, I, 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 don't, I don't like murders. Oh, but this is a swell one. They can't find the body. They can't? Oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take one. <laughs> oh, poison! Hot water! Hot water and mustard! Oh, oh! Damn! Oh, Was it 
just the paper boy. Y yes, darling, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't our murder. It, it was another one. Uh, well, if they can't find the body, they can't prove anything. We could put it in my trunk and ship it out of town. Yes. Oh! Oh, but Cheryl, that trunk's too small. She'll never fit in there. Oh, yes, she will. We'll make her fit. Look, darling, I, I can I can make it fit me. Now, now look. Be careful, darling. I will. Is it a snap lock? Yes. It's locked, Charles. No, no. Yes, yes, the key. Oh, darling, it's on the key ring in your pocket. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, hammer. Get a hammer and knock it off. I'm, I'm suffocating. Oh, all right, darling. Oh, Charles, will the meat cleaver do? Or the axe? Yes, get them both. And then get the saw, too. There it is, darling. Oh. Ah. She's not dead. No, it's Paulette. Well, let's stop her. Let's stop her. Paulette, Paulette. Are you all right? Is, is your headache better? But I want to go home. No, no, we wouldn't think of your going. Just come right here and rest yourself. Uh, sit right down here. There you are. Uh, answer that, darling. Then, uh, what, what are you trembling for? Everything's all right. Hello? I heard it only today. Paulette's been married to Bob Skinner for over a year. Oh, that's priceless. How can I ever thank you for calling me? Goodbye, dear. Well, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Who was it, dear? It was Bella. You'll pardon my rudeness, I'm sure. Oh, you're not really going, are you? Yes, I must. Oh, no. You see, this is the first time that we've really begun to enjoy your company. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had no idea you had such a delicious sense of humor. Why, I think you're both crazy. Homicidal mania. Well, there's the door. Oh, all right. I go all right. But you haven't seen the last of me. You will go to jail before the night is over. Well, you know what you can do with that court order, don't you? Give it to your husband. Good night, Mrs. Skinner. <laughs> After you, my dear darling. After you, my dear Charles. <laughs> <laughs> 